Let's move on now from one um, place to the other, from one country to the next. Uh, a fierce fight across Sudan continues. The efforts to evacuate foreign diplomats and citizens has also intensified, with many foreign nationals still stranded in some cities. One of the organizations, a South Africa disaster response team, Gift of the Givers, uh, says it has managed to arrange transport sponsored by the government for the stranded South Africans. But the organization's uh, Imtaz uh, Suleiman uh, says uh, as they were making their way through the Egyptian border on the rescue mission, um, it took a steep turn when a bus carrying eight South Africans, two USA, one British, one Nigerian, one Zimbabwean, four Sudanese, four Palestinians were stopped at the border as some of the passengers do not have valid passports. So as we speak this morning, there is a case of invalid passports that's been owned uh, by some nationals that cuts across Africa and, of course, um, um, other uh, countries. Therefore, they have been stopped. Well, joining us now is Dr. Imtaz Suleiman. He is the founder gift of uh, Givers uh, South Africa. We're running out of time, but we need to squeeze this in and get the latest on that story. Kindly bring us up to speed. Tell us uh, what's going on right now. Uh, good morning. It's going very well. We've had three missions. The first one was on Monday, where we had 38 uh, South Africans and seven Angolans and one uh, Lesotho national. We managed to get them all out into the border. The South African diplomats were there. They had hassles. They kept eight of our people back for the very same reason that you just mentioned. No passports, no documents. That's unfortunate because those passports and documents were in government buildings or in offices where they were fighting. So those people couldn't access their documents. And but fortunately, our diplomatic staff got there and after, but it took 26 hours before they released those eight people. They're safely in the country. We have a second lot of South Africans who were stuck in Port Sudan. They made their own way. We were not involved in that. They made their own way to Port Sudan. There were Tanzanians, people from Kenya, Mozambique and other countries there. They got stuck. They couldn't leave. But, you know, we, we intervened to some extent. We spoke to somebody behind the scenes. And this morning, all of them are on a ferry boat to Jeddah. The third group, the one where there's a Nigerian on that bus, including uh, two Americans, a Britain, uh, a Zimbabwean, Palestinians, Sudanese, and eight South Africans. That bus was fortunate. It came to a certain point, and then the Sudanese police said, you can't go to the border that was used by your country yesterday. We've closed the road. There's just too many people at the border. And yes, there were thousands of people at the border. So they had to reroute. And our diplomatic staff will then meet this bus at another border called Wadi Halfa to assist as best as they can. And we're hoping the bus is now probably just about one hour from the border. Well, I'm sure a lot of, you know, these persons didn't expect that they would need to leave Sudan, you know, so quickly. Uh, so do you think that maybe some concessions, you know, considerations need to be made with regards to this, you know, invalid passports issue and really just get people out of harm's way as quickly as possible, you know, and... Um, also, you know, can you give us any updates on whether there's still a ceasefire, um, if it's still holding or it has been broken? Well, the first part, I agree with you. This is something that has to be, you know, sort of documented or legislated, you know, to, to the United Nations, the African Union, because a lot of people are not treated very well at this kind of borders. Unfortunately, quite often, the type of personnel that you have at border control are just people without emotion. They just follow the book, passport, come, no passport, stay outside. They don't understand the consequences of emotional, psychological you know, trauma of what people have gone through, lost family members, battled to get out of a war zone, moving from house to house, leaving your house behind, leaving your friends behind, leaving your money account behind, no passports, no money, no banking, and you come into a terrible situation. People are waiting four days or longer at the border, 40 degrees heat, no food, no water old people, children, there has to be some kind of, of, of urgent, you know, discussion in the UN and African Union and other bodies that we have to have some kind of uh, accessibility or flexibility and adaptability to allow people to come through borders in this situation. Your second question in terms of the ceasefire, it's very difficult to say because that country is so huge, you don't know what's going on where. Yeah, and, but most of the fighting is around the bigger cities, not in the rural areas. Our bus was stopped on was not stopped. The bus driver himself said on Tuesday, well, they're talking about ceasefire, but it's skirmishes all over the city. There's aerial bombing, there's tanks and armored personal carriers going across the, the road to Egypt 
at the road to Port Sudan is not safe. We cannot take you out today. On Wednesday morning, when he said, okay, we can leave now, the, the people who from outside got messages from their friends in Sudan and saying, please get out now. We're receiving messages that there's going to be a massive infiltration of troops into the city in Khartoum. And they saw the troops coming in. They saw the armored personnel carriers. They saw the tanks coming in. So on the one side, it's supposed to be a ceasefire. But on the other side, I think there's going to be all out fighting in some of the major cities. Mm, mm. Well, we have so much to talk on this uh, situation. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Suleiman, for joining us. And um, uh, thank you as well for the work that you do. Uh, thank you. We hope uh, to touch Sorry, base with you point, again. One more point. I'm making a call to your government to please send a message you know, to the Egyptian government. There's a Nigerian national on my bus and he's got no passport. He's only oh. got a document and he's going to have a problem like the other people. So if I'm asked your TV company to make hold, get hold of somebody in the Nigerian government, I've sent the document to your, your journalists. Please do that. Otherwise, this man is going to get stranded in the terrible area for days. I don't want that to happen. All right. So, so the Nigerian Nigeria government needs to reach out to yeah. who? No, no, he, he's Sorry? saying there's a Nigerian who is stranded. Yeah. He doesn't have... Um, the, You're asking the Nigerian government to reach out to who exactly? Yeah. He's, he's on my bus. On your okay, okay, to, to reach out to your your organization, gift gift of the givers. Okay, okay. My organization is gift of the givers. I'm working with the South African government. I'm okay. coordinating with them, and right. he's on my bus with a British, two Americans. I've informed all their embassies. They're sending the paperwork to the border called Wadi Halfa. If your embassy gets hold of the Egyptian government and says, and your 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 your, your journalists have have the passport copy, and it says they. This man is a South, uh, Nigerian citizen. We verified that. He has no passport. He has a document. Please allow him to go through the border. But they're going to do that in the next hour because he will be there within the next hour. All right. So if we take a look at our time, we have barely, um, let's say, 9 a.m. Um, West African time. Can you do us a favor, please? Um, while we're off the air, can you send us his name so we could have a better detail and then push this forward? All right. Four people in the studio already got the name. I already sent it to them. They know, you know they will call you now. All right, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Work with the producers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.